This always happens. I know. Welcome back. Because I don't know if you're going to speak. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you're going to speak either. Welcome back to the Merch Podcast. Um, we've just finished recording a very fun episode with George. G McG. We did some listener questions. We did some general questions. We talk about Keelan having a fucking clangor of a bail. Yeah. Um, we also introduced two new little things that we're going to try and do with guests to keep things exciting and interesting and spend a little too long talking about toilet habits. Yeah. So, enjoy. nothing nothing out of the Yeah, pretty much a standard episode. The ordinary. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> George is really high right now. Let me come down <laughs> on his stool. Not, not from, not on the influence. Um, welcome back, Merch Podcast, mm-hmm. with your your delightful hosts, Keelan and Giles, Hi. and as as specified last week, joined by George McGowan. Hello, everyone. We are currently sleeping. Sleeping? sleeping. We're sitting next to where he's been sleeping for the last few days. So. Mate, he loves it. He loves the office more than the spare room that is beautifully set up. Got a, a double bed. Nice bed that Sarah would probably rather sleep in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the stench of his boxes is wafting up next to me. No, it's not. I bet you they smell, I bet you they smell good. <laughs> what your dirty sweaty boxes? They're not dirty. They're clean. What those ones? The ones are the dirty ones are in a bag. Oh, okay. Is that all, all right. your shit just tucked in the corner? I mean, some of it's in my bag. Sprayed across the office like Johnston. Um, Come on, I'm not as bad as Johnston. Before we get into George, fantastic Mr. G. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Keelan is lucky to be here right now. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit weird, to be honest. No, I'm actually, not really. No. Is your neck alright? Yeah, it's fine. He had I just it. took a pretty horrible fall, but I'm completely fine. A clangor of a bail. Yeah, smacked the back of my head slash neck, but which you'll see in a couple of weeks, maybe probably mm. in a week or so. Are yeah. you excited for it on a team training, and I'm sure on Instagram. It is a gnarly one. Mm. It was. It was surprisingly. It was scary. It wasn't nice because then the whole day I just thought of bailing. Yeah, it's actually so annoying. We went out for like a three-hour training session, and within an hour, Keelan <laughs> was flying through the air and falling down some stairs. <laughs> So nice. It went very well. Hopefully, the team training videos don't just consist of bales to get the clickers. To get the yeah. clickers. Yeah. Get the clickers. But you know. Hey, clickers, how you doing? <laughs> Ooh. Um, George, why are you here? I am here because I'm doing my level one parkour generations coaching course, which you've already done. Which I have already done, unfortunately. And no, I did not fail. <laughs> <laughs> I did the course the first time and did not get my R signed off fast enough because I was lazy. So I but have not, to do wait, it again. Wait. Not because you were lazy, but because there's only well, one. Well, there's only one, yeah. There's only one coach. Qualified level two coach in Ireland. And when I did it, it was years ago before I knew anyone from. So basically, England. you would have needed to come across to England and get somebody else to sign off. Athens. Technically, yeah, yeah I would yeah, have needed yeah. to come here and do it. But now I'm doing it again. So, well, how are you going to do it this time? You can't just fall into the same trap. Because I more... know loads of people now who are level two. What, in Ireland? No, like my one is obviously the guy I work for, Paul, but like, mm-hmm. for example, Hendo's level two. George, sick. can I ask that you stop tapping your hand on the table? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that it was I don't know how that would translate to the microphones. Um, yeah, so that's kind of savage, but George basically flew over. He's mm. been wanting to for months, but obviously... COVID. The coronas, but he's finally here. Uh, how wh- what wh- what did you do throughout lockdown and how has lockdown been for you apart from play RuneScape um, well number one I played RuneScape yep <laughs> number two I trained a lot because the weather was really good mm-hmm. and for me it was actually quite good because I literally just trained all- I used all the time just to train because of the good weather I feel mm-hmm. like we came back from Soul Destroyer where you had thrown down some big shit but not there'd been some times where you struggled to like do some gnarly shit and you just came back and just trained harder than fucking ever and yeah. suddenly your Instagram was just all of your up. Instagram clips are Soul Destroy clips <laughs> yeah yeah like your lines are all massive video worthy it was the one you did at that spot I don't know where it is where you do like Kong up stride and then side pre across oh yeah 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 that what just that? popped off it's like the it's, it's not the wooden one is no, it? no they're like no, brick walls the wooden ones good though oh yeah yeah it's like yeah, them brown yeah. brick walls yeah, yeah. Um, well, I was injured in Soul Destroyer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was had an ankle injury, which meant I couldn't really bounce anything. So it was hard to commit to anything that was really big because the fear of bouncing it on my ankle flexing was scary. Yeah. But then when it like healed a bit, and I just went really hard because there's no better time than now when all you can do is train, basically. Mm. like Very true. So, Do you find it 
easier to get Instagram clips than Soul Destroyer? Um, no. Like less pressure? No, not? but I just feel like because I live at the spots, I have a lot of time to think about what I want to yeah. do and then go and, and do it. So it's like easier. I know what you mean. What was, what's, what's been the worst thing about lockdown for you? Um... Mainly, I think that the or gyms like, are closed. I guess the whole corona situation, not just like home, but like um, just how difficult it's made most things, and a lot of my favourite eating places. <laughs> some some of them still remain closed, not, which not makes me which makes me deeply upset. Not that you can't go to America. I mean, it's sad that too, but <laughs> <laughs> no. Way. What's your favourite eating place? Um, Nando's is open, isn't it? Yeah, but Nando's has only just opened, like recently. Oh, uh, okay. So, and it's most of it was um, takeout only, and no one wants to get a takeout Nando's. No, very true. Did you know? Did you not get the the deal over and? Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you abuse that deal? Oh, I abused the deal. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Wait, so you you reckon you'd spent a significant amount of money yeah. uh, that I don't know if I need to voice on the podcast. So if without well, that deal... I mean, probably don't voice the amount because people will judge me happily. <laughs> without that deal, you would have technically spent mu- double, almost. I mean, I spent most of the money before the deal. Oh. And then the deal came on, so yeah. it, was, it was already just as bad. But Jesus. yes, I've been out for dinner a lot of times. <laughs> well, you've got a new lady in your life, so... Yeah. Yeah. So it was worth Things the Things are looking up. So what's yeah, been the best thing about money. lockdown? Training. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Training hard. Clips. Apart from the fact that you've bruised all of your feet, feet and hands. Yeah. Your expend extent. What's what's the? I don't know. What are you going to say? Extremities. Extremities. Oh, <laughs> it was worth it. I guess that's like your fingers. Mm. Um, you are quite bad though, because you're like, oh, my hands are bruised. I shouldn't do any kongs. And then you get somewhere and you're like, I want to do this dive kong. And then you rip your hand open. And you go. That's how I know it was a good kong. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. George's definition of a decent if he's if he's tried hard on a big kong pre is if his hands start bleeding. Mm. Basically, yeah. you did tear you up that spot. Slab. You tore up that spot. Is that just because you put so much pressure? I feel like when you get the right, like push, the perfect push, it, like your hands rip some, open. Sometimes they like you slap so hard that it yeah. rips. You think you'd have like a nice callus by now. Oh, I don't because they rip in the same place every time. But that would yeah. build up a callus, surely. Clearly not. Maybe I'm just slapping the wall too hard. Yeah. Um. Fuck it. Should we jump onto our main? Uh, well, it's not even a main topic, but it was. It's really weird. Somebody sent it to the Motus Mobile, and I've now lost it. Unless they sent it on Instagram, but I'm ninety percent certain it was on the phone. And mm-hmm. I can't find it. But. An interesting topic before we dive into Q&A with George and some other bits was a guy messaged, I assume young, and he basically, in short, said, when should you start posting your training on on social media? Like, should you wait until you're good or better than just being a beginner learning everything before you start posting on Instagram? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, I think you can post at any level. I think you can post whatever the fuck it's you want. It's more to document your training, so I would just yeah, post mm-hmm. whenever, you post wanna, whatever you want. Exactly. If you want, yeah. Like, I think I think that's jumping too far ahead. If people are thinking like that, if yeah. people are it's, thinking it's, about good stuff, and it's thinking like, oh, everyone's judging me. It's like, and well, yeah. Also, you just post what you want. Yeah, it's, it should be to document your journey in parkour, and it's so that in a year's time you can look back and go, wow, I was really mm-hmm. shit, and then you know you've got better. Yeah, I think actually filming yourself doing parkour is yeah, stupidly... Very, yeah. It's very yeah, useful. It's stupidly useful. Very because, useful. And you don't have to post everything, no, but no, no. you will have a session. You, your first session, you might not have anything you're proud of, but you probably will. But typically, social media should just be used for you guys to go, oh, well, that made me feel good. I want to share that with people. You yeah. shouldn't think, mm-hmm. oh, shit... Pasha's better than me because Pasha's better than everyone. He did a backflip off of a fucking go kart. Oh my god, you a showed double me that. backflip. What? It the was basically fuck? a double gainer. Yeah. yeah. That was what so crazy. Hell? You can think you're as good as Pasha, but you're not. Yeah. And even <laughs> if you not. even if you could mimic something that he does, he'll that day mm-hmm. have gone out and done a yeah. Katahara out of a window. So true. Mm. It's just amazing. So what when did you guys both start posting parkour or start filming yourself doing parkour from the beginning from the beginning yeah like yeah, I from the beginning. I feel like I did as well my first we I mean obviously when I started like Bebo was about we didn't even have fucking oh I actually, remember Bebo that might too be young Bebo. Might be I remember Bebo. Bebo like Facebook didn't exist obviously Instagram how does Bebo work share so the love it was basically Facebook but more for like it was it, it just it was another social media platform yeah. Yeah. I think actually it was MySpace before Bebo Bebo was good 
Bieber, yeah, you like, could have your own video on your page. And it auto own, played. Yeah, and auto yeah, played. And so shared the love. Have, you shared the love with people. You'd have parkour shit playing or a song or, or yeah. a meme or whatever. Urban no Free Folk left as your background. Yeah. It was messy to look at. Like, it looked <laughs> it looked like a five-year-old bedroom wall. Just like, yeah. ah! But um, I started... I got my first family video camera because we went on a family trip to Florida around about the same time I was getting into parkour mm. so kind of commandeered that to be my thing so my first video was called first vid but with I think it was first and then there was a spelling error it's actually on one of my old YouTube channels because I found it and uploaded it that's crazy and it's like first with a D in there for some reason um, but obviously the back then YouTube didn't exist so we just shared stuff on the urban free flow forum across yeah. like you send it and you'd upload it and it would have like a 20 limit l- download limit yeah and then if people downloaded it they wanted to but you couldn't like see you couldn't stream video yeah yeah that's crazy i feel like most people in parkour will start naturally filming themselves from the beginning yeah compared to most sports because i know skating gets filmed loads but there's actually a lot of people who just skate and they won't film because of i don't know what it is but it's like and if the- you if you started learning guitar yeah, it's a straight. I don't think. I mean, for me, for me as a person, if I was and when I did a tiny bit, I would film because it's nice to just look back. Yeah, you would film it for yourself, yeah. and then if there's a bit you're happy with, you'd upload it because you're like, oh, here we yeah, go. exactly. Or even just on stories and things. Yeah. Um, I d- yeah, I think I think you need to try and separate that line of thinking, which is hard to do because obviously if you're thinking people are going to judge you or you think, mm. oh, I'm not as good, but really what you share should just be what you want to be proud of, and you don't have to post it. Mm. but you know so did you share your videos on these sites that I don't not know not on Urban Free Food, no know. when I started YouTube was already a thing so oh really I just shared videos on YouTube from oh, the start oh what's the story about you commenting is it on Eric Moore's video yeah well, we might have we might did we, have we I think we uh, uh, well I can't even remember what you said I don't know covered it before um, yeah welcome back by the way how many times is this your second time or third fourth Fuck oh, yeah. no oh. First meeting, you're pretty much a co-host. Uh, no, um, wow. the story is Eric Murr back in the day got a shout out from another YouTube channel that I was subscribed to, and just a video of him doing parkour. But basically, just like before he'd really started, he was basically just doing backflips off things. Yeah, and I was thinking, oh, why won't the guy do me a shout out? Because he had like. 10,000 subscribers or something, which back then is a lot. Mm-hmm. And then I, I remember I went onto Eric's profile, annoyed, and commented on one of his videos. Eric, I'm 12 and I'm better than you. No way. <laughs> yep. And then when I finally met Eric, I told him, and he was like, Yeah, I was raging. I deleted the comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And then I'm sorry, Eric. There's, there's, been, happened. there's been love ever since. <laughs> yep. Um, can I pause this and press save because I didn't save the f- project and you know when we did this last time and then we yeah, lost yeah. our episode and I, I yeah just, let's I'm do just that gonna, just gonna if there's a weird glitch you'll know why back in the that. room back in the room yeah sorry about that I just wanted to make sure we didn't lose the entire thing mm-hmm. um, where were we you what you were just commenting on Max Henry's book which sits here proudly yeah among my library the Parker Roadmap it is good it's a uh, it? it's it's kind of a really nice breakdown of almost like the history of parkour and parkour thus far and oh emails piss off it, it um it's kind of perfect for like i don't know to give to like a family member who maybe isn't that knowledge like someone like my dad who gets a lot of the parkour stuff but not enough yeah. he'd probably find it really interesting sick um and also it's just good to read so mm. nice um Let's, let's go on to some listener questions that we had from George. To be completely honest, we had about as many people sending in voice messages of farting as we did have yeah. sent in questions for George. We didn't have a huge amount. <laughs> I tried to look for topics and I just kept getting caught up in voice messages that voice, made no sense. Yeah, people just getting a bit carried away. Somebody having a fight with Keelan because he looked homeless. I did reply to I him. I do find it weird how people are like, oh, if you've got long hair, you immediately look homeless. I, I can understand. I can understand why he, he doesn't like it. Well, I see a lot of short-haired homeless people. <laughs> so, I mean, you do dress yeah. like you are wearing a, a dyed green shirt and ripped-up trousers. Mm-hmm. So I guess it complements them. <laughs> like, it works together. Yeah, they've just got style, homeless people. Yeah. Uh, Motus Mobile, by the way, is the uh, the number is plus four four seven eight five six four zero zero one six one. The link, the the numbers also in the description. So, but yeah, send us send us some shit. Send us some voice messages. If you're gonna send funny shit, you might as well send a a proper topic as well. 
Yeah. And, Funny and shit's good. Don't but, send know. me farts on Instagram because it's now it's it's it's, it's grav not gravitated. It's 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 become that, and I don't need to hear farts on Instagram. I'm if, like, oh, somebody sent a voice message. Send them over to George and said, yeah, no, say, DM yes, George yes, fart. please, don't do it, please, <laughs> don't do it. I don't want it. Um, oh. But at least nobody's now sent the the nasty stuff. Yeah, which yeah, is pretty nasty. All right, let's go. Let's go for the question. So the most obvious question in the world that has been asked before from Robin the coach, who is putting out incredible Instagram content. So shout out to Robin. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, in short, do you ever train strength training or anything specific for your insane power? No, never. I have never lifted or done any specific techniques for getting stronger. I just do a lot of standing praise and plows. And that's it. It is interesting. Sorry, it's just genetics. No, I, I was just gonna ask if you have like a set reply for when people ask you this on Instagram. Yeah, because it must I be just literally the, the most truth. thing. I, I get the messages nearly every day, but I just tell them the truth. I just say it's basically mm. just down to genetics. I I remember asking you this ages ago but like in person and you said it, it was to do with training with people in Ireland yeah and well, you're I think with we all have the same style of just doing yeah. loads of prees and plows so it is yeah. also that thing that people say of like you can do as many squats as you want in the world but if you want to get better at jumping you kind of just that's have why to do I always, jumping that's what like. I believe in like if you want to get better at something all, although doing squats and stuff will make you stronger it could technically make your jump bigger but like I would rather put the time into actually practicing yeah we had a funny chat the other day because George made the realisation that because obviously there's some level of like genetics involved here potentially his brothers or his dad or something yep. could just be freakishly powerful as well and they just have no idea yep. like, <laughs> yeah like they've never, so used, true, they've never used the explosive the explosive muscles yeah um oh i was going to talk about something but i forgot but i mean the 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 thing that many people ask is obviously about your diet because I think I think a lot of do people, people actually ask that. Yeah, I think a lot do, of people to do with your springiness. Um, is it just to do? I with think you they as just generally athlete? want to know. Yeah, like all around, like training diet. It's basically, how what, do I become George? What do you say? <laughs> Tell them the truth. I say I eat food that is not good for you. <laughs> I eat a lot of calories, a lot of carbs. I love oven pizza. <laughs> um. What uh, can Mate. we can we touch on your latest discovery? How long have you been this taking on this diet fad? Forever. No, the the the, the new one. What the bowl of night and the bowl of morning? <laughs> no, I only have the bowl at night when I've been training. Oh yeah, this is what, what I mean. is this? Yeah. Well, I put, Giles thinks that it's silly that I say after I have a fat training session, I come home and maul half a box of dry Cheerios. <laughs> He literally <laughs> makes me feel less achy in the morning. He's but it's what? common no, science. No, it it's common science. It does. You're what? carb loading. It's, yeah, and I guess that is it. Is you're basically carb loading. It's just yeah. George chooses to do it through a bowl of Cheerios. Yeah. What else could you use? It's right? Cheerios. Well, you could use loads of things, but I suppose Cheerios in comparison to like eating a load of bread is probably good. Or rice is carbs. Yeah, you could do rice, Potatoes. but like Cheerios is like got a decent amount of I just love it because he just decent. pours them out into a bowl like a level full bowl and just sits there and just demolishes them hey, I've had a family box in three days here at Giles' site <laughs> <laughs> it's like some people have the Atkinson's diet and other people are paleo and things and George just has the Cheerio diet yeah you, would people listeners be upset if now that you know the truth and that it is basically genetics and, and luck that has put George well and persistence that's put you yeah. in this position would you be upset if we suddenly announced that George was releasing like a training program and a diet program that we basically just got off Google and changed the name of? Yeah, but you should be upset. And That's then, why I tell people the truth. And then and then and then we could get like a few grand in George's pocket. Nah, people have offered to pay. People have offered on Instagram to pay before. Like they what say, your secrets? they say, what is your secret? If you do not tell me, I will really? die. Someone sent me that. Jesus Christ. And I was just like, I just told them the truth. I what said sort of secret? It's mainly genetics. What? There's no secret. What are you going to tell them? I know. I, they, they think I have some secret, like, strength training thing, but I don't. No. Yeah. It'd be great if you did. It'd be good if I did, It's, it's but funny, I because if you were not, not a nasty person, if you were, you, you could quite easily capitalise on the situation and just yeah, make but bank. I don't want to lie to everyone. Just, just literally go and rehash a training program off online and call it your own, and f- and film videos of you doing shit standing prees <laughs> and shit plyo like box jumps, and then do your real ones, and then be like, get it now for forty nine ninety nine. Nah, I could, but make a kill him. I wouldn't want to tell people to do something that I didn't 
do myself. Well, you're a better man than I because my training program is coming out next week. <laughs> so, um, so this is quite an interesting question, actually. That uh, uh, Tyrell, is it Tyrell Brooms? I think. Oh Brooms, yes. Think. So, height in parkour disadvantages and advantages. Do you Ooh, think that's a good one? Do you think there are any? And this definitely, carries, this there, da- on. there definitely is. I think right. So for if you're shorter, I think that for doing flips, especially, mm-hmm. it can sometimes depend on be easier depend on the body type you have. Um, I think it's easier to tuck. Um, it just depends, and you're lighter usually. So I think there's extremes on each end of the spectrum. Yeah, there's extremes. Like Sam Sutherland, Joel Eggman are so yeah. tall that they're always going to struggle with flips compared yeah. to George or someone like that. Exactly. But so obviously, if you're tiny. You're limited. Yeah. I would like to think if you're small, you have a lower center of gravity, but I'm not sure if that's true. Potentially. But when you watch gymnastics, a lot of the best gymnasts are really small. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Biles, yeah she's, for example, she's, like, she's like four foot ten or something. Yeah. She's the best. Well, yeah, one of the best in women's gymnastics. Do you reckon being the height you are? Because you're not really small, but you're definitely I mean, I'm, smaller. I'm than five foot six for everyone that asks, and I am 67 kilograms because everyone always asks. But that. do you think that's like that is probably one of the reasons you're springy because you end up training at spots and training with people who are doing challenges? Like if you saw, and we're all small. Well, we're all, all, well, well yeah, they're all so small. This, to is, be honest, this is his yeah. continued question: Is do you think that smaller people are more springy because they have um, to train? Because, like, I don't know, the classic IMAX height wall is a set height. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I so don't know. So, for you, it's higher than... Let's there's say. a lot of disadvantages, like, just in general and jumping. Like, yeah. if I do a pre... So, say I'm doing a precision jump with, I don't know, who's pretty tall, who's really good. I, I mean, know. really tall or just tall? Just tall. Like, Tim. Tim champion. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, if I'm yeah. training with Tim, technically, if we do a pre... Uh, the moment he takes off he's technically closer to the wall because his mm-hmm. legs extend so much further than his hip his hips yeah. are higher and his hips are higher like yeah. as soon as he jumps his legs are already when they're extended he's closer to the wall straight away so yeah, that's yeah. a disadvantage obviously if you're doing things that include height so if you're doing like a wall pop or something it's obviously going to be harder well think of the, the mentality as well because if you're not thought about when you're standing looking at a pre your eye level yeah. if your eye level is a lot higher yeah. immediately you're a lot more confident with you're going to make sh- it or smaller not. people should have more comfort with drop pre's than taller people because you know how you always duck down yeah yeah, that's like, very yeah. true actually but I guess it all depends on it's it, you're only it's only mm. going to affect you isn't it you're not going to yeah. be in someone else's head but it's funny because I, I swear if you packed out if you if, if you gave uh, your muscles to someone like who am I going to say? I'll take him. <laughs> yeah, but you're yeah. like not that much taller, but no. to a taller person, two inches taller. I feel like they would they wouldn't be springy. They wouldn't be. I don't it would know. Just, it would spread it. It would spread I don't it out. Know. I'm trying to think of someone who's quite notu- noticeably tall. He's really powerful, like springy, like not just strong. Yeah, I, to be honest, springy. How, how, I wouldn't uh, say they're heavy, but I don't. I can't think of anyone who's really tall who's springy. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, maybe it has got to do with uh, like yeah. the compactness and the fast twitch muscle. Yeah, maybe yeah. short levers. But did helps. you uh, did you not ever say something about focusing on being springy sometimes, like when you're practicing flips to like? Yeah, but I because I already know, like I don't know, I try and be like that because now that I noticed years ago that it was something like when I train with people that I seem to be quite springy, then I focused on trying to make that better. Mm-hmm. Like trying, I just do challenges that complement that kind of style. Yeah. Because that's what people seem to enjoy. Mm. And that makes sense. It is interesting, like, I mean, not take Nightwood, for example. The times mm. that I can do those strides up are when I am consciously thinking, like, fast and drive. Like, yeah. if I'm not thinking those, I've never done it, because it's just like a power challenge, isn't it? I've yeah. never got all the way to the top unless I'm literally thinking on every step, like, drive, drive, like, fast, yeah. drive. So I guess for you, it's just like you've... It's the spring. It's you've kind of Best just. I mean, I also try really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sort of thing. Like people say, it looks easy, but I'm still trying really hard. Yeah, yeah. Who's uh, going back to Tim? Who's got a bigger standing pre? Tim, yeah. obviously. Well, yeah, it's, but I mean, are there like tall? I didn't know that for some reason. I thought are there tall know. people who have who you have bigger standing pre's then? I mean, yes, but no, because there's tall people that have a bigger standing pre, and then there's taller people that don't have a bigger standing pre. Yeah, yeah. So it's mm-hmm. yeah. It would be really interesting to like find out the the averages of sort of like your abilities or someone else's abilities. Do you know what I mean? Like to take. <laughs> sorry, that was such a sorry. I just sneezed. No, if you were was to not do, a fart, it was a sneeze. If you were to find out who has the biggest standing pre in the world and took a tally of like 
the people who came close i wonder what height they'd be yeah and what like it would range ra- for yeah and who ratios. would get knocked out early would it be a lot of small people well misha's one that i know was recorded was three meters forty. yeah which is massive well, that's fucking huge yeah that's like Such so a man. and he's tall yeah and he's jacked mm. um but yeah as you were saying everyone you train with is small right well, at home, yeah. And, but they're all fucking powerful. Like, it yeah. is literally like this. Yeah, that is so it's very funny, weird. actually. Josh, yeah. James Dixon. <laughs> Ryan Looney. Ryan Looney. You all okay. have, like, weird springy abilities. Mm-hmm. Maybe something in the water. Yeah. It's that Guinness. Yeah. The green Guinness in, Could the, be. in the water. Um, and do you think there is a perfect body type for parkour? Um, Definitely. There's body types that help for different things. Like... For example, my like my body, for example, is not very good for strides and running prees. Whereas Keelan's got the. Whereas Keelan, yeah, for example, has really high hips. Spaghetti. So that back legs. to the other question as well. That's a disadvantage of being small. For sure. Like even I'm small, but I also have really short legs and a long mm-hmm. torso. And then you get people like Toby who have really long arms and like yeah yeah and and he's kind of I mean Daryl's a good example. And actually, without sounding offensive both yourself and Toby have a bit of a sort of yeah round hunch of over I feel like it helps to Kong yeah there's mm-hmm. certain people who you look at their posture and you're like I wonder if that actually has a, a factor there yeah I've said yeah. to people before for a long time about like and used to be as a comparison like he's quite the same as me I feel like being like bent over but it definitely I'm, helps I you still don't have the dip as much I think yeah. like it's quite a quicker motion yeah but it's still confusing how you've got short arms yet you can Kong really far I think the long arms is more to help with like lashes. Like Daryl is a good yeah. example of like Daryl's like wingspan is way bigger than his height, mm-hmm. and he's amazing at lashes. Like yeah, you can yeah. lashay ridiculously far with good technique. I think my but your lashes like, are pretty fat, to be honest. Yeah, but not lashes. compared to not compared yeah. to like Daryl or like Jared is a good example. Jared's got long arms. Yeah, I wonder what your it's eight my, index, you know, it? We yeah. measured mine in um well, on the first America tour. And although I've got quite a weird body shape, my arm span is a lot shorter. Shorter? Yeah. Oh, really? See, I'm, I'm pretty much Same perfect. Not really? perfect, but like I'm, my, I'm pretty much perfect. My arm span is basically my height, which is oh, kind of standard, apparently. That's good. Like, I yeah. guess I'm just fairly in proportion, apart from my massive feet. <laughs> I do actually have big feet. Um, yeah, what size feet you got? Seven. Yeah, UK, that's, seven. That's kind of... So a US eight? It's kind of standard. That's. I feel like that's normal for my size. Yeah. What mm. about you? Eight. Eight, yeah, mm. I'm nine. Um, well, 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 well. We're actually getting on to this. What, the the exciting part? Yes! So we, we came up with a couple of things that we want to do with guests, and th- they might sound lame, but they're going to be fun. Uh, one is top five, which is fairly obvious, and we need, we need that Drake sound bite where he goes, top five, top five, top five. And then the oh, other no. one has autocorrected to on the sport, but actually it was meant to be on the spot, but it's a shit name <laughs> basically we have a load of questions well we have we have two pots one contains a load of topics one contains a load of questions and we're going to get George to pull a random one out for the first one and he's going to give us our top five stop cheating I can see it the pot's see through I mean they're folded I can't see what's on them. I saw you looking right. you can hear this little rustling so what one are we doing out. what one are we doing first we're doing top, top five. five first so we want to hear your top five or whatever these is wait okay. but he has to pull it out yeah yeah pull it out just, so one. just one just one and then you can put it back in. And this is how we, we diversify the, the, the subject matter. What do you get? Got it. Shoes. Shoes. Top five and shoes. Top five shoes. Oh, didn't even know that was in topic. there. All right, you can put it back in. So are we are we may as well talk training shoes because this is a very parkour specific yeah, episode. Yeah, of course, yeah. It's top five shoes. This is a good one. Let's mm. go. Go on. Of well, all personally? Time. Yeah, for you. Okay, so I think reebok still is number one classics yeah reebok classic nylon um then new bounce 420 well slow down slow down why what is nylon over suede like come on let's go into depth on these. okay well no <laughs> the only options for the reebok classics or it's leather yep a leather pair which are rigid or nylon obviously uh, that's flexible so okay. that's why i um, think why is that such a good shoe um good they're light good grip and they're durable for me anyway people say they're not durable I don't know. You make everything last. What, what about the way they look? Do you think that? Um, do you like the way I they mean, look? So, I'm like 50-50. Like, sometimes I like the way they look, but then other times I'm like, hmm. White laces or black laces? Black laces. Interesting. Actually, although I like both, but I think that they look okay considering they're good, how good they are 
Uh, being trainers, they yeah. look quite yeah, good. It's kind of like a compromise, isn't it? It's like when yeah. people wear Kalanjis, you're like, these are ugly as fuck. But they're cheap no, but they're I amazing. see quite a lot of people wearing the Reebok Classics that don't train as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, quite, no, they're I quite, see. They're like, a classic. They, yeah, yeah, they're they're <laughs> they're fashionable trainers, I suppose. Yeah. And like, I think they look okay. Yeah. yeah. The next right. pair would be New Balance 420, which are yeah. basically a New Balance version of the Reeboks in a way. Mm, yeah, they're similar, but I feel like the grip is a lot better. But they're less flexible maybe. so the new balance no, is better grip I've tried those I feel like the sole it's just the sole isn't as squishy yeah, when I was doing it you yeah. like quite a thick sole shoe right Down island I need a thick sole um, you're not a, like a I need to feel my touch you're a no I, I like feeling the touch but like shoes like that you can still feel the touch like Reeboks like people like yeah Reeboks can, good some they, people say well how soft. can you feel the landing but you can most definitely feel the landing yeah. in a pair of Reeboks like yep. you can still feel the edge of the wall um, new balances are like thinner like not as wide of a shoe, which I like. Like they're really tight fitting. Yeah. Um, and I feel like they're more durable. Like the grip literally doesn't change. Like I've had mm-hmm. trained in pairs for a year and the grip doesn't change. And they haven't got any dumb bits that are gonna flake off or anything. No, nah, so like far a... on the pairs I've had, no random points of rip. I know with are Reeboks, we... people have a lot of problems with them ripping at the top. Yeah. 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 Are we going backwards or for? Uh, is that was that number one? Yeah. So number one was the Reeboks. Yeah. Number okay. Two. Oh, we should have gone the other way. Should have the... built up the hype. Although I'm I, I'm in between them two at the minute. I don't Joint know what's first. better, yeah, Reebok okay. or well, we'll put Re- mm-hmm. New Balance second anyway because they're hard to find and um, sometimes more expensive. What? Uh, yeah, number three. Number three. I like Strike Movement. I try and train in them a good bit. Yeah. Daryl hooked me up with a pair, nice. and they were very, very, very good. I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, don't know if I have any criticism on them or what would be good or bad. Some colours, some grip, durability. Yeah. Um, no, for me, the durability, like, I trained them in the, for a whole month and a while after. Actually, I guess... And they it, look completely fine. It like, depends on... Yeah, but you're... Okay, so anyone listening to this, George is magic in the sense that he makes anything he owns last... On, honestly, his, mo- <laughs> yeah. his Motus backpack, which came out about three years ago, literally looks like you've taken it out of the fucking wrapper. I don't understand it. Like when I got the camera out of it today, and I was just—if st- you looked at it up close, no, I need to look it up close. When you place. look at the fabric, close like stage. the bag samples that are currently on the office floor. Yes. Oh, George, you left your towel on the floor. Um, uh, no, I need that for the wash. Yes, we are doing more bags. <laughs> those those samples look older than George's. Bag. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. I have took that bag on every single trip. Yeah. What is your, What do you do though? You just Nothing, care, I just careful? take care of it. I don't throw it around. I feel like a lot of people are careless with their things. They are, mind. yes. But I take care of it, so it just lasts. Mm. Very I like that bag. I don't want it to die. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? um, but yeah, so you strike. To be fair, I think some of the fabrics of Strike are really durable, and then the some of the more meshy mode. I think the ones I have are the Chill Pill Transit. Yeah. There's some that have a uh, sole that isn't actually that good for parkour, but they mm. but they don't usually wear those. I don't know what parkour. the ones I have. The, not, one I, the ones just... I have, the Chill Pill, I think, are very. The sole is very good and very yeah, good. Yeah, the... On reels, especially, the grip is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I've always been a bit on and off about the sole, but yeah. I have two pairs. But I like them for lifting because you know I'm fucking strong. Yeah, I feel like if you like flat shoes, they're good. Mm-hmm. A lot of people like training flat shoes. I feel like my mic is but really isn't, quiet. Isn't a trainer? Yeah. Oh, that just no, peaked no, it. No, it peaked. Yeah, fucked it. Um, four. Number four. Oh, it's hard. Um, actually, if anyone remembers the Puma Cabana shoes, you'll remember them if you've seen them, Charles. Yeah, I think I, I know. To, I need to refresh I my I memory. So I, I had a couple of pairs. Um, I know Callum was someone who trained in them a lot. Puma, was it Cabana? Yeah, Puma Cabana Racer. Ah, yes, yes, yes. You know the shoe I'm talking about? I They're like, very good. I feel Obviously. like nowadays wearing them, they would not look Yeah, nice. you know, Callum found a pair of these oh, yeah. when we were in Korea, just in a random market in his site. He saw them and he was like, oh, sick. And then he just found them in his size. No Yeah, way. they don't sick. look the best, I think, like for the look of the trainers, but they're very good for training. I yeah. liked the Puma, um, what was it, like RC83 or something. S- yeah. Similar. Puma basically. Futures is another one that are very good. Puma Futures. Yeah, yeah, yeah that so was it. Good. Yeah, yeah. Puma oh, Futures. I like that. Oh, yeah. Too. R698 Lite. Like that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you'd like always be typing it into Amazon trying to find them. It's Amazon and eBay for those yeah. ones. Oh. Did the bloody discontinued parkour shoes always. Yeah. Is that the number four? One, yeah, the last one would be. And I have never tried Puma Futures, or they could be on the list, but I can't put something on the yeah, list. Very true. You haven't tried. If I've never tried it. So, and then the last one would be the Adidas ZX Racers. A lot of people had them. Mm-hmm. So like the black and white. Callum also is an example of someone who trained in them. Oh, a lot of I people trained those. in yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Wait, They're kind of like the Puma shoes, but just Adidas. Wait, Adidas ZX. ZX Racer. 
ZX Racer. A lot of people listening to this will know. I thought those shoes Addy Star Racer. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, those ones. Yeah, good. Very nice. Addy Star Racer, maybe that is it. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Either way. Yeah, yeah, the classic black and white ones. Yeah, yeah. But they're very good also. Um, they thin out quite fast though, but mm. the grip and overall for parkour shoes very good so so now that you've got you've got your number one or at least you got those two yeah do you once you find the perfect shoe are you going to keep buying that like yeah, are you going to well, buy so another far, Reebok that's what I have done yeah. we got given a free pair of Reeboks last year and they're still yeah. wearing them obviously so yeah. sick but like you, mm-hmm. do, you, do you ever go out your way to find another shoe nah like I'm happy with Reeboks yeah. and New Balance at the minute I've just been going between them two and they work sick you've, you've got to respect the people who take big risks on new shoes and they're like I'm going to try this and they put yeah. their money out and then sometimes it's shit and it's like it's, it, it's it starts scary. a trend yeah I feel like you guys were somewhat responsible I, for the um, I no, Luke 100% was solely responsible for them v- Vans Ultra range. oh yeah he was definitely, definitely a big was. impact on that yeah. but the, the the ones the 3MC's 3MC's I C's. promise you, I, I'm nearly sure that I was the first one to yeah, wear. I, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't usually be so sure, but because you you yeah. took a risk on those. Didn't I took you? a risk because I was like, they look like Vans and they look a bit like narrower because I have narrow feet. Yeah, that's all I thought. But and then yeah. it was like you, Jordan, Max, and then yeah. it kind of started. I mean, I have off. a pair. I don't train on them, but I can see how they. Would I really be good. like them for like just a day to day. I can that, see how they would you know, be very good for training. Quite thin though. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a yeah. bit too thin. If you like something thin, then yeah. All right, let's move on to. Uh, on the spot this is it's, I, I guess the reason I came up with that is because it was like we're putting George on the spot yeah, but yeah. it's not very good we've only got three questions like this in here so if you have any suggestions of this is like this isn't like a top five this is like a slightly longer form mm-hmm. question that we want George's input on so shake it up go on take one of those that's one what'd you get you have to create the best parkour videos. Yes. You have to choose three <laughs> athletes and a cameraman. Ooh. Yes. So you are given the opportunity to create the your your you want to create a parkour video. You you're an athlete, but you get three other athletes to Ooh, put in the video, and you get to choose a cameraman. It could be from within the sport or without the sport. You could fucking get Spielberg or whatever. Like, I, mean, I don't really know any good camera people outside parkour fuck me I thought you were going to say full stop then <laughs> no 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 about to give fine. you a slap George um, think of the most monstrous I, video I that mean created. for the athlete the, num- the first one is very obvious Ed Scott yep yeah I thought so I think Travis yeah and oh, it's hard to pick a third one I feel like there's there's definitely another person on their level no, they're definitely. But it's like, do it. you want to just make a video? That's what that's I mean. Just... Like, I'm trying to think because then oh, the three of us would do things that are quite maybe similar, not similar, but like yeah. you know what I mean. Like, like maybe you want some. It's just oh, let's go there. to every spot and find every single side break that can be done, <laughs> yeah. and then do them. But then Monster, it's like, yeah, yeah, I want someone who would be. Do- I, honestly, I think Ed, Travis, and Jared and Hulu. Yeah, that'd be oh, so sick. Yeah. Because he has a lot of things that he can do, like not just bars, other stuff that is very, very, very good. From starting to film to the end, there will be like three new fucking world's first stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, be a cameraman. Nice. A cameraman? I don't know. I feel like... Not Johnston. Not Johnston. Oh. Only, only because, no, 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 Johnston is amazing at filming, but, oh, but there's sometimes when he risks the shot yeah. and you do something perfectly and yeah. he's like, oh, I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't get it. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, Johnston, That please. kind of calibre yeah. move. You'd have like a triple sequence going with like yeah. every athlete and yeah. then Johnston would try a risky thing. It's like the film when you know you've done, like you do a run and you know that it was the best for you. It was yeah. the best yeah. it could possibly be. It couldn't get any better. It was lucky yeah. that it was even that good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, the and then spots. he's just like, oh, I mean, you could do it again. And I'm just like, Johnson, don't, 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 don't tell me that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Need, that's why you need a B cam when you're filming. With I don't know. I feel like probably either Giles because I feel like you always get a, C- a CF shot that's good, or I don't really know anyone else who films parkour. Toby, Sasha, Claudia, Toby, Blakey. Sasha. Yeah. I feel like Toby's good. Yeah, yeah Toby's and good. And Zeta is good. So I don't know. Probably you too. 
between you two well come know. on you can't we can't use well I'll pick Giles because I know his abilities oh, no. because I know Giles' abilities so there we go we need to not let that happen too often uh, oh, <laughs> can't let pre- people be pressured into choosing me although Johnson I'm sorry if you ever listened to this you are you amazing you do realise all I would do you are go, amazing at filmmaking I'd go George is there any extra budget to pull in Johnston <laughs> and then Johnston would do all the filming and I'd just shoot on the fucking yeah. pro dad cam I mean that is what has happened on many circumstances yes Johnston <laughs> handles the tough stuff and I do the B cam Mm-hmm. And then I claim the glory. He doesn't let the boys down, Johnson. No. Um, sick. Well, that kind of concludes the questions for George, but you can put that back in now for the next guest. Oh. Are we going to. Uh, have you asked if people could add to these? Yes. Yeah, good. Uh, yes. Um, we had some general questions on the old Motus Mobile that weren't just people saying, How is my descent technique? which we can't really... How do I get better double-A twists? Yeah. People saying that. Try hard. Yeah. Um, question for Keelan. Why didn't you go on the Breach Tour? And then there's another question after that. It's from Sh- Shia? Shia? Shay. 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 I think it's Shay. I'm like... Well, he, I know his, his Instagram name is Shia Butter. S-H-E-A. I'm pretty sure that's pronounced Shay. Why didn't you go on the Breach Tour? Money. Money, 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 money. Money. And I'm again now nearly in that moment again. Bankruptcy. Uh, but yeah, pretty much. He also said, when is anyone coming to Liverpool? It's dead now. Which is the same excuse I hear from everyone who lives in Liverpool. They go, oh, the community's dead. No one comes to Liverpool. It's like, well, it's, you're the only people who can make the community better the, the again. The thing is, though, what what happens when they, when, I don't know, they invite people over? It's not going to make the community better, no. is it? It's just going to make one trip it out It's your it. responsibility to put together a little WhatsApp group and be like, hey, guys, this Saturday, let's get out and do it. Oh, I found a new spot on Google Maps. Let's go do it. Ooh. Also... Liverpool is not the best for training. No, is it not? I've, I've never, like, I've actually the never trained the best athlete the, came from there. Yeah, but. yeah, that's the Liverpool's biggest um, asset. Asset. Yeah, Daniel Abaco was burst. They peaked at Danny. Was burst there. Yep. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, I actually got a taxi after the breach tour to the airport. Oh yeah. And some random geezer knew Daniel Abaco was talking to me about him. He didn't know him. He knew of him. <laughs> and I was like, "That's pretty." Can you smell that, George? What? The oven has been turned on. Hmm. I can tell <laughs> George is having chicken. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, basically, mate, uh, Keelan doesn't have any money, apart from mm. the fact that I do need to pay you, and... Um, Won't change a thing. Make <laughs> make Liverpool better. That's your responsibility. Make yeah. Liverpool great again. Build some walls. Mm. Yeah. you got a good gym. Make a WhatsApp. That's um, always number one. Keelan, opinions on Bring Me the Horizons collaboration with Youngblood from Winton? Uh, I really like it now. I play it quite a lot, but... I still didn't I don't think it really caught my attention as much as Parasite Eve but I think it actually ruined it a lot now that I think about it that we listened to it on the radio first and when I first listened to Parasite Eve I listened to it with the music video true which is actually a kind of a negative because would I have not liked Parasite Eve as much if I didn't no, see I the music no I think Parasite Eve is a better song do you think yep. yeah I've listened to the new one a few times but I'm not yeah, fast. Um, I know what you mean about the radio. That's interesting because that's the first time I've ever seen you being like a little fanboy. You oh, were really? Like, you were like ten minutes. Yeah, I was well excited. Ten minutes, and then, and then I was and like, then we missed it. I was like, oh, missed okay. first. That first was off. Right. But yeah, I don't know. What um, do you think of Young Blood though? I don't, I don't, I don't know whether I like a section in the song or not. I, I don't it's just a, really. I can't to do notice that much. Really, to be I just like the breakdowns. Fair. I just like breakdowns. <laughs> um. Just like the demon Somebody voices. was saying that they really miss Music Minute. And personally, I love it. And if you're going to check out... Oh, no, I don't even want to give the name away of the band because I want to use them for a video. Don't do it. Don't do it yet. That band is a... Str- I miss Music Minute, but also it just... I don't listen to enough music. I, I listen to a lot of music, but I don't listen to enough. I'm for currently listening to Big Sean's time. new album, which is not to anyone who cares about <laughs> heavy music. Not, not that at all. But I'm quite liking that. Um... What are you listening to at the moment, George? The RuneScape soundtrack. Yeah, I actually haven't. I, uh, this is quite sad. I haven't had a headphone adapter for my phone um, in about six months. And yeah, listen to any music. Listen to music. No, Ever. I have listened to some music, but like, it's not the same when you don't have headphones, is it? Yeah. You don't just like blare, I don't just blare out music. That honestly makes me feel like a little bit anxious not having the ability to listen to music. I just Over listen to it out loud. Yeah. You know, I do sometimes, but like, yeah. not, I just not listen that to much. it when I have a poo. Because we didn't used to have a. I, I, don't do I that. listened to it. You know, the other day, I listened to music while having a poo because you yeah, were eating in the other room. 
Yeah, and it's and like I, I never had nah, that. I mean, always in that circumstance, fair enough. But like, I never even really go on my phone. I just fucking squeeze her out and get, <laughs> get, get the job done. Drop the T bomb. Yeah, drop one. the T bomb and get it done. No more, no waste of time. <laughs> Oh, that's dude. so strange I would have thought you'd be all about staring into space or staring into Instagram no, and, and no. shitter I wouldn't say I, I don't necessarily look at my phone but I like a bit of music it's also because we didn't used to have a lock on that door yeah and now it's so it finally proves. fixed it so it's yeah. good to just I just don't I just don't like the sound it makes when it hits the water I just don't like that sound you get the other splash bag no you got to use a little bit <laughs> put a little bit of folded toilet paper yeah, yeah you do, you that, do that's that. the technique Some, that's the technique it, yeah. I, I feel like I'm just anyone managed. who doesn't know that you're living yeah. in the past getting yeah although we're all living in the past because we don't have the Japanese Spraying toilets or a bidet? <laughs> nah, tr- tr- uh, I've never used a bidet. No, yeah, right. I, scares, I scares committed. Me. Me I committed when we were in Portugal. You remember that Would one? You use your hand. Yeah, I, oh. well, I think so. You know that one night in Porto when we stayed at that Airbnb. Yeah, and mm. we had a bidet there. There was a bidet there. I committed to using it. I was going to have a shower afterwards anyway, but I was just like, you have to use your hand. But there's some soap. But that didn't feel clean. So it doesn't my, make any sense. Whereas the Japanese toilets, woof, you woof. Surely Honestly, that. Sure, like it feels like you're getting abused. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's the opposite, personally. You're not water shooting right up your ass. It doesn't go right up. It does the job. It really does the <sighs> Touches job. Touches the outskirts. Yeah, and then a little bit of little bit blow. It, some of them have a blow dryer, but always that that just feels like, that just feels like you got it just feels like you got a really sweaty ass. But some of them make noises to cover up the noise. Like you can put on like waterfall sounds and things while you're in there and stuff. And they're heated toilet seats. Like Japan is I might have the, to fly over literally just for that. Oh, just 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 so I know what Japan it's like. is the future. Mm. Um what a fucking good way to wrap up the podcast because that is how we should wrap up. Yeah. Uh yeah, thank you for this. Look at that, 45 minutes. That's quite good. Yeah. Condensed. We will be back hopefully next week with some more either guests or topics or keep keep those things coming into the phone. Plus four mm-hmm. four seven eight five six four zero zero one six one. I could be like a radio. It'd be cool if we could press a button and there was a voice that would say it in a nice automated tone. Well, we could fork out 500 quid and buy a podcast unit. It would be so good. But currently GarageBand is doing the job. Um, You got any further comments to say, George, that aren't about my mum? No, none. No. 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 Awesome. Well, yeah, thank you for listening. There is a discount code that I can never remember, but it's in the, the description. Feel free to use that on the Motors website. Keep those sales coming in. We got restocks on the way and new stuff. And as we said last week, some very cool announcements coming very, very, very soon. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, wicked. Keep watching the team training videos. Yeah, glad you're enjoying them. Yeah. Hasta la vista. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.